welcome or there i love that color of it it's so cute and then we're going to be opening the island designer app and then adding a little cliff behind callie's house just for some height Yep, just like a cute little hill behind her house, adorable, and then... Then I'm putting the campsite to the left of the little um, sunken pathway right there. I think it's a really good spot. You can walk down to the little beach and view the waterfall. Um, I love it. Then of course we gotta add the little kids tents around. Those are such a good item. I like that it kind of looks like people just came out here and set up their tents where the campsite could be. And then of course I had to take the campsite sign from where the campsite used to be from Pocket Camp. I think that item is from. It is so good. I love it. I don't know what I would do without it, honestly. I love that campsite sign. It is so cute. And then we gotta add a little path over here. Okay, it is the next day and I can't believe it, but I actually have a campsite villager and I actually thought that they were kind of cute. So I was like, okay, if they ask someone that I don't like to leave, then they can come. But they actually ended up asking for Charlize to leave. And I was like, you know, Charlize is my girl. I cannot have her leave. I love that she's green. So I'm sorry about you. Can't stay here. You chose the wrong villager. So... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was really glad that we can see what the tent looks like all pitched up and we're going to be adding more dirt path. That bench is such a good item. I love it so much in that swatch. It matches the fence perfectly right there. And of course we gotta get a glowing moss balloon around. Um, I love that you can customize those different colors. I should really put them in like all the colors. Um, and here I am connecting the little path, the dark path with the lighter dirt path. And I kind of like interlock them and I think it looks pretty cute. And of course we gotta have the plain party lights behind the campsite sign because otherwise how would you see the sign at night? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I should show you all this build at nighttime because the glowing moss is so pretty. Um, I love it so much. And then over here we are going to be connecting the campsite with the maze build we did a little bit ago and it's just like a little walkway right there. I think that's the last kids tent we are going to be putting there uh, I know I changed it like three times it's fine um, of course we got to put some trees around even though it wouldn't let me put a tree right there I don't understand why not it makes no sense to me but you know it's it's fine I'm I'm not mad about it And here we're going to be putting a little blanket down with fringe on the side and that code along with the rest of them of course will be in the description below if you'd like to use them. Look it's so cute I love it. Of course we need some wheat fields everywhere. And we're just going to take away some of these blue flowers and put up a fence over here and we're kind of going to fence off all the different campsites so then it's like, you know, when you actually go camping in real life and you go to a campsite and usually they're surrounded by woods, each one, so 
you know like which one is yours and everything that's kind of what i'm trying to do here with the fencing and i think it ends up looking pretty cute even over here we got that going and then the one on the right doesn't have that much fencing but with the dirt path on the ground you can kind of see where it's supposed to end there so i think it makes sense right there We got this little futon or sleeping bag and we're gonna put that on top of this cliff along with a little telescope to be like they went up there to stargaze and they brought their sleeping bag with them and we got this cute little blanket on the ground for the little sleeping bag super adorable <gasps> the little lantern looks so cute All right, I just added some more flowers around. I'm gonna add a little bit more and then I think we're getting pretty close to being done with the campsite. Eric is walking around. Hi, Eric. He's checking it out. He's like, ooh, what's going on? I'm gonna sit over here by the fire, nice and toasty. I'm um, gotta put a wheat field there, of course, of course. All right, so some of my recording got deleted. Um, I I don't know how to explain why. It's it's fine. It wasn't that much. Um, I did decorate that little cliff we added in the beginning. You can see there with the wheat field. I'll show you it later. And then here to the left, I added some fencing because I had this idea to put one of the cypress baths over here and make like kind of a little uh, cute little bathing area for the campers or like. Just like a cute serene spot. I don't know really what to call it, but I think it ends up um, pretty adorable. I think it's kind of, you know, different than what I would usually do. So I'm proud of myself for that. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I'm also going to add some laundry around here and just a little community spot for everyone who's camping over here. All right, it's starting to look pretty good over here. I am going to add that bendoid back and make it kind of look like the gyroid is doing the laundry. I think it's pretty cute because it like moves around like it's moving the clothes to dry them. Here is that cute little clip. I actually really love how this turned out. I got the little, what is that called? The pan flute up there and yeah, it's pretty cute. And then of course we gotta add another wheat field. <laughs> And I finally found a spot for the destination signpost. I've been moving it around like this whole time, um, but it's going to stay over here. It makes more sense being by the campsite sign. All right, so I thought I was done, but I still hadn't added the little path for the secret beach. Um, so I'm just gonna do that from the design codes app so I don't have to reopen the I'm blanking on it again. So I don't have to reopen the Island Designer app. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm just going to add pretty much a super straight one and then it's going to curve a little bit. It's just, you know, following the path. It's pretty self-explanatory. I could have done a dirt path, but I thought this would look cuter. My gosh look how much better it looks over here with the pathing um even lopez just walking on it just then made it look so much more complete um and how could i have forgotten to put a puddle the last video of course we need a puddle it's right by the water
All right, now I can finally show you the finished build. It is looking so nice. I love the little tents and all the little details I put in. Um, look at that little green tea can next to the vine hanging chair. So cute, so cute. Um, and then those are my two favorite kids tents. So of course I had to use them with the little flowers and then just the brown spotted one is so adorable. And then, of course, we got this little walkway that I made, um, showing you a little bit more of it. And then we got this beautiful view of the waterfall right there. And then we got the main campsite. I'm so happy I can show you it with the campsite villager in there. They got their little cooking thing. They brought a pie for everyone. Um, super adorable. I love it so much. And then I'm going to be showing you the little community space back here. Um, it pretty much looks the same, but ah, I love this little spot. It's adorable, especially the Bendoy. The Bendoy is probably the best part of it. And then quickly, I'm just going to show you this since red is down there anyways. Uh, this is finally complete. It was basically done before, but now all the details are added. So it's looking real cute down there. And I love all the wheat fields. I love that you can walk through those. It's so adorable. All right, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite kids tent is in the comments below if you got this far. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, my jar is so random. <laughs>